What's up guys, it's Coach Mack, Play Fast Football. If you look in the description box below, you'll see some information on two of our sponsors, GameStrat, the fastest, most advanced replay system on the market, and Just Play Sports Solutions, who provide an interactive learning environment for your team. All right, today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about our uh, 20 personnel buck sweep, all right, which is how we run um, our, our version of buck sweep, which is probably more of a pin pull scheme than it would be classified maybe as true buck sweep, since we are not, uh, not a true wing T team. We don't have a fullback dive or, or any anything coming from uh, you know the, the position right behind the center to to uh, simulate that fullback dive when we run our buck sweep. But we run it out of our 20 personnel. Um, we run it mostly out of our uh, out of our strong or near set where we have our fullback to the two receiver side. All right. One of the reasons for us formationally is we have to formation the play so that we always have our fullback to be able to seal and we have somebody we feel that can crack the inside linebacker similar to you would have a tight end or a wing or somebody that is a down block version of that play so we've got to seal the edge and get a, and some and get a backer block down so for us we run it mostly out of our uh, two back strong set which is our sniffer to the strong side now the reason we run the Bucks we play for us is, is kind of twofold. Number one, it's a perimeter play where we want to get some of our guys that are good players out in space. We want to get them to the perimeter. We want the ball out wide, all right, because we have some players that when they get in space are very good players, so it's a way for us to do that. The second and probably just as important reason is with all of our gap schemes and our read game schemes and the way teams play defense, we have a lot of, uh, of schemes we carry where there's down blocks with a five technique whose stimulus, all right, off of a, of a down block is normally to squeeze. So for us, it's a play that helps us kind of uh, use the defense's strength against itself so that when they are taught to squeeze down blocks, they're going to make kick out blocks on power and they're going to make kick out blocks on, on split zone and some of those things. They're going to make that block real tough for the sniffer because they're going to try and spill. So what we want to do when we run our, uh, our buck sweep scheme is we want to give the sniffer something that protects him to make his job a little bit easier. So now off of down blocks, when you're getting five techniques that want to spill in wrong arm, now when you come back with buck sweep, now when he's got the sniffer sitting there, all right, it's tough for them to say that, that they want to make sure that they wrong arm and spill everything off the sniffer because now they're going to get plays that start going outside and the ends when they start getting logged with the ball going outside all right a lot of times high school football players they're going to get logged because they squeeze a down block and then the ball is going to start going outside and eventually they want to make plays so eventually off of the down block and the fullback they're going to start getting all right less spill orientated and more up the field orientated because it's human nature for those kids to want to make plays you've got to take a very disciplined well coached football player to understand that off the down block when he spills he's got no responsibility to play the buck sweep the buck sweep has to be played and fitted by backers or secondary support or however you want to fit the play so Eventually in high school, that kid off the down block, when that fullback starts sealing him and that tailback starts getting the ball outside, eventually that end stops spilling so hard and starts getting more up the field. So for us, when we are playing good, uh, well-coached defensive teams who are, you know, um, block down, step down, squeeze the air out, spill, wrong arm, you know, they're players that are using those type of techniques. They're not up the field players. We like to use our buck sweep because we feel like it helps protect our sniffers when it comes time to go back to gap schemes and kick out schemes and things where we got to run split zone or if we're running power right at that sniffer we feel like we're helping them a little bit because now we're running some schemes where we can get the five technique off the down block we can get them sealed all right so those are the two main reasons we carry the buck sweep it was probably for us our best run play um, this year need to formation it a little bit better uh, do some things off of motion and come back to some one-back things where maybe we're running some quarterback buck, but uh, just got to do some things to protect the play a little bit more moving forward next year because it is our best run play and our most productive run play. And with some of the players we have returning, I think it will be our most productive run play. But I think we've got to get a little bit more creative to do some things um, to protect the, the buck sweep action. Um, and one of those things is looking at an influence style trap that won't hit as fast from the shotgun as it does on their center, but I think it's still worthwhile 
to possibly carry an influence trap from the shotgun to slow some things down and protect that play. All right, and then also some formational gadgets to where we can still end up with a sniffer to seal and a player to crack, but maybe off a three by one motion or maybe off a quarterback puck, we can do some things with misdirection so that it's not always a, a two back orientated run play for us. All right, so if you like what we're talking about with the buck sweep and you want to see more about how we run it with some film clips, check us out at playfastfootball.org. Again, that's www.playfastfootball.org. Use the promo code PLAYFASTFOOTBALL, no spaces. Play Fast Football, you get 35% off for the next 13 months. If you use that before December 30th, that's 35% off of your subscription all the way through 2019.